Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Care. Today I have brought another session on automatic triggering of an email from Outlook using Python. So in my previous video, I have shown you how to schedule an email with the basic text in the body of an email. And also, we can see how to send an attachment along with it. And if you guys are new and you have not seen my previous video, uh, please check the link in the above description. It will be visible. Or else like the same link will be available in my description box also you can click that link and you can view my previous video and one more thing guys so like if you have not subscribed my channel or new to my channel please do sub support me by subscribing it and also click on the bell icon so that like any new videos which I post you will get a notification of it so today so today I'm going to show you how to attach a table in the body of an email normally like if you see that we are sending some reports and all right so how to attach an attach a table to the body of an email from the csv file so like uh, normally we have the data in the csv file now i want to attach that particular uh, data from the csv file to the body of an email so this is this basically happen like with the help of an html format okay so let us see like how uh, we can do that so let us see uh, how we can uh, do that and first of all like uh, if you have not installed the module so install the module pywin32 and if it is causing some error then you can try installing py pywin32 and then you need to import a couple of modules say import win32.com.client as win32 and then import os date time schedule time path leave so import pandas as pd so just pandas and pd okay so this schedule what, what it will do is like if you want to schedule a task say like every one minute this particular task should run or every one hour this particular task should run or every one second or every 10 second every 15 minutes so that depends on you like how you want to schedule your job so normally uh, mails how we used to do like whenever there is a file so like every minute let us see like uh, normally in our office works so or in our uh, daily activities what happens is like uh, let us see like when we run the script uh, it will just check that file every minute uh, this folder every minute and see like if this particular file exists then it will trigger the file it will tr trigger the email with the data if this file is not available then it will not get the email so today i'm i'm going to show that only so first of all like i'm creating a function called def uh, defining a function that is a send mail one and then i'm creating a variable file equal to pathlib.path state.csv so this is the file and if file dot exits if this particular file exits then df equal to pd dot read csv so I'm, i will be reading that uh, csv file i will be opening that csv file using panda now i will be just uh, dispatching this outlook application so outlook equal to win32 dot dispatch outlook dot application then now this is like a small html uh, template normally i'm not good at html so this is what i just made a small template so body uh, yesterday if you have seen like it's less like body equal to just simple text but uh, since i'm going to attach uh, this uh, table in the form of html so body at the html uh, like normally in the google if you search you will be getting some kind of templates so you can just uh, copy paste from there or like uh, you can just add up some informations from here to your record uh, entries so html header and body in the body i have paragraph uh, hello all then again a para uh, please find the details then in the body i will just mention df like if you see this variable df right so i'll be converting this df to html format df to html then the breaking new line then uh, i will have a thanks so which will be having a font color blue and then uh, closing the font then again uh, break line break line break line then again please note this and this is an automated email for this text i am creating a font red then closing the para body style and html okay so this is very simple one and the script right the script will be available in my blog also the link uh, for the blog is av will be available in the description box you can, uh, you can copy the script from there also now the next step is like mail equal to outlook dot create item zero then mail dot subject uh, test email by history this is a subject then mail to where you want to send then uh, if you want to send to multiple people right you can create a list you can create a list of uh, the multiple email addresses and you can just uh, loop the 
list then mail.html equal to body so this yesterday if you have seen me that is like a mail dot body but today since i am uh, sending in html format so mail.html body equal to body variable so i already have this defined then from where we are going to send so by default like uh, uh, if you have only one uh, uh, like uh, account configured to your outlook so this statement is not required if you have multiple accounts then you can define like from which uh, mail account you are going to you want to trans uh, trigger the email then this part is not uh, pretty required so i have used this for some other purpose so this is uh, not required you can ignore this then the function is mail sent so once it is uh, done the mail will get sent else the if statement is like if this file exists then this uh, particular functions will uh, actions will take else it will just say like print the file is not available and then send the mail okay now uh, for uh, for a checking purpose we can try this and see like the mail is getting sent or not okay okay i think sending message i think now we will be receiving the email yeah if you see like i have received an email uh, hello all please find the details and then uh, this is nothing but uh, i was doing some data analysis on uh, the COVID cases based on the states. So this is old data actually. I just have an uh, CSV file for this. So I have used that for this task. So thanks. Please note. So if you see this red format and this is in blue font. So so guys, this is very simple, right? So how to send, how to attach a table to the body of an email from any CSV files. Okay. So now if you want to schedule the job, right? Now like say I will just delete this. So I have created another function, uh, say called def repeat one. So what it will do is like, uh, like if you want to, if you want to trigger at any current time, at any specified time, right? Uh, say like this is a specific time. I want to trigger is uh, trigger an email at a specific time. Then you can uh, try this like current time equal to system current date time. So date time date time dot now. This is the format. And then at what time you want to schedule the job. So like uh, this triggering of job will be happen. Say it's zero zero fifty three, right? So we can put. Uh, 0, 0 dot 54. now like uh, if send time equal to string current time then send mail and then pass so this task will repeat every one minute and whenever this this task right this particular repeat task so uh, this particular repeat task will repeat every one minute and whenever this condition is met a uh, send mail one function will get called so send mail function means it will try to send this mail and while sending this email also it will try to uh, check this criteria if this particular file available then the uh, it will trigger the email Okay, so let me check it. So now it should uh, schedule at 58 and if, if it will find that file and it will uh, run the script. So basically that guys, this is very simple and uh, like uh, in my next video, I will, uh, I will upload like uh, the screenshots or the images, how you can attach to the body of an email. Uh, that will also be in the format of HTML or like uh, the basic uh, plain uh, text I can add up. So I will show you like how we can, how far the ways we can attach an image or attach multiple images to the body of an email. Yep, if you say the mail has been sent and this time uh, the mail should send because the file is available over there and at that specific time the mail has been sent. Two minutes, okay. Okay guys, so this is what it is and uh, this is 57, I think the previous one. So some, for due to some reason it didn't came up here, now it is showing here. Okay, so so this is how guys uh, uh, it is done. So like uh, if you like my video, please press like button and for more videos, please do subscribe my channel. And thank you for watching.